Good morning, everyone. My name is Mallory and welcome to Bethel Church Online. We are so thrilled you chose to join us for service this morning. If you already have the Bethel app, then go ahead and check in now so we know you're joining us. And if you are new with us, we just want to say welcome. We are so excited you are here. We would love it if you would also download the Bethel app and fill out the Connect card. This would allow us to connect with you. Once again, thank you so much for joining us today. We are so happy to have you. If you are wanting to worship with tithes and offerings today, you can use our Bethel app or our website or simply just mail a check to the church. And next up, we have a very exciting announcement from Pastor Barry. Good morning, Bethel. A few weeks ago, I mentioned that we're gonna get some new tools to help us in ministry here. Well, today we're launching one and it's called the Church Center app. Watch this short video to learn about it and then I'll come back and tell you more. That's right, today we're launching the Church Center app. Bethel is now using Planning Center for all of our church management needs. And the Church Center app is the Planning Center product designed for the congregation to use to connect with Bethel, to give online, to connect with your discipleship groups, to check in for events, and to register for all the different events happening at Bethel. And you might be thinking, that sounds a lot like our Bethel Church app. Why do we need both? That's because eventually the Church Center app is going to replace our current Bethel Church app. We're gonna use both side by side for a short time as you get the new app set up and uh, transfer any recurring online gifts you have from the Bethel Church app over to the new uh, Church Center app. We've got some videos on our website to help you learn how to do that. But today we're just asking that you download the Church Center app. If you wanna to go to your Play Store or the App Store and look for the Church Center app logo, Download that, get it all set up. It's gonna ask you for your home church. Look for our Bethel Church Janesville logo, and then you'll know that you're in the right place. Once you've got it all downloaded and set up, take some time to explore the new app. Uh, you can set up your online giving, you can connect with your own discipleship groups that you're a part of. You can even try and check in today for the service. Just look for the check-in button on the bottom row. The Church Center app is gonna be Bethel's new home for online giving and for discipleship group communication, for event registration. So you wanna make sure to get that app downloaded today. You can still give online on our website and you can also always mail in a check. I would love to help you through this transition and help you with any problems or questions you have about getting the new app set up. So please, if you have any questions or trouble with that, just call Bethel and I can help you with that. Any of the office staff would be happy to walk you through this process of getting the new Church Center app. We hope you enjoy it. Hey, good morning, Bethel. Hey, I've got really exciting news for you. I don't know if you've noticed, but when I've recorded video announcements during this time where we've been worshiping apart, I've been in front of this sign, that together is our favorite place to be. And I'm excited to let you know that beginning next Sunday, May 31st, we're gonna be able to start worshiping together at Bethel again. Our service times will be at 10.30 a.m. and we'll be sending out more information about exactly what this is gonna look like. In the meantime, be excited. Check out the video that Carol Smith, our overseer chair, put out that's on Facebook currently that has a little bit more information. But for now, plan on worshiping together next Sunday, May 31st at 10.30 a.m. at Bethel. And those are all of our announcements for today, Bethel. Thank you so much for joining us. We truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Next up, we have Pastor Barry and his team leading us in worship, and then Pastor Drew has a message prepared. We believe that God has something to say specifically to you in today's message, and it's our prayer that you leave encouraged and closer to God than ever before. God bless. <laughs> 